How do you know? You haven't seen it yet. No, no, I mean this ad underneath the picture. Earn more money than top executives. This is a perfect job for me. But, Anne, you already have a job. No, but like every other job I have, every time I want to go out on an audition, my boss won't let me off work. But this ad says I can be my own boss. Gee, what kind of a job is it? Selling door to door. That doesn't sound so perfect. <laughs> oh, but I can keep whatever hours I like. It says here that Mr. Wallace Clinton, a prominent New Rochelle banker, made enough money in his spare time in this job to build a rumpus room. Now, Anne, what would you do with a rumpus room? <laughs> Judy, that's not the point. If a banker's got enough time for this job, an actress certainly does. Well, what would you be selling? Shoes. I never heard of a door-to-door -door shoe salesman. See, it's a wide open field. <laughs> you really think you can do it? Oh, sure. Everybody needs shoes. And the company's right here in Manhattan. I think I'm going to call them right now. Okay, let me spray your hair. Oh, no, no, Judy, wait. I really don't think this style's right for me anyway. <laughs> Not right. It's perfect. It's you. <laughs> I'm that girl. <laughs> I'm Nate Caswell. Who? I have your shoes. You do? Aren't you Anne Mary? Anne Marie. Yeah, I got your shoes. Oh, the shoes. Anne, your shoes are here. Oh! Oh, you must be Mr. Caswell. That's right. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't expect to see you so soon. I only talked to you last week. Oh, that's the motto of Smart and Stunning Shoe Service. Smart shoes and stunning service. <laughs> well, I'll certainly try to live up to that motto. Well, you got a good attitude. I think it's only fair for you to know, Mr. Caswell, that I'm an actress. But that doesn't mean that I won't do my best for Smart and Stunning. Oh, I understand. We got all kinds of people selling our shoes. A jockey, a, a dentist, we even got a banker. Oh, yes. We read about him. You might say we got people from all walks of life. <laughs> Get it? All walks. Little joke there. <laughs> Your fine humor helps you break the ice with the customers. I'll remember that. And here we have a deluxe combination carrying case and shoe stand. Just put your foot there. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's very comfortable. And these, of course, are the shoes. Oh, they look very nice. They are very nice. You can take your foot down now, honey. <laughs> and a genuine plastic shoehorn goes with every smart and stunning shoe sale at no extra charge. Oh, thank you. Norman's Rent-A-Shoe? Yeah. The way we operate, Miss Mary... Uh, Marie. Yeah, see, the way we operate is we buy stock from companies that go out of business. Old Norman had a good idea there with his rent a shoe, but somehow it just didn't go over. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that was because old Norman was a heel. <laughs> oh, that's one of her jokes, Mr. Caswell. Oh, yeah, very good. <laughs> well, you know, as we always say, that's shoe biz. <laughs> little joke, see, I topped you. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the smart and stunning shoe service family. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, where's the dough? The dough? The $50 deposit for the samples. There wasn't anything about a deposit in the ad. I didn't have room, but I thought I mentioned on the phone. No, you didn't. And I don't have $50. Gee, that's tough. But I can't let you have the shoes without a deposit. Not that I think you'd skip with them. <laughs> but business is business. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Caswell, please trust me. I know I can have the money by the end of the week. Well, just to show that Smart and Stunning has faith in their salesman, I'll make an exception. Thank you. I'll tell you what, I'll make out an IOU. 
And where are you going to get $50? From my business partner. I didn't know you had one. Neither does he. <laughs> Have you ever sold anything door to door? Well, no, but I'm an actress. And Mr. Caswell says that a salesman is nothing but an actor with a new audience behind every door. <laughs> I think what Mr. Caswell meant is you have to be a good actor in order to sell his shoes. They're perfectly good shoes. Then why are they so cheap? They're not cheap. They're reasonable. Oh. Well, if they're so reasonable, why don't they just open up a regular shoe store? Because if the company opened up a regular shoe store, then they wouldn't have the low overhead that makes the shoes so cheap. Uh, reasonable and <laughs> I just don't think it's a good idea of you selling things door to door to strangers. Mr. Caswell says I won't be selling things to any strangers, just to friends I haven't met. And you should never sell anything to your friends. Well, why not? I gotta start somewhere. All right, then start over on the other side of town with people who'll never see you again. But I thought you said you didn't want me to sell things to strangers. Well, well, as, as long as you've made up your mind to sell those shoes, I, I guess it doesn't make any difference what I want. Well, I'd feel a lot better if I had your approval. Okay. Okay, you have my approval. Sell kangaroos if you want to. Good. Then you'll lend me the $50. What $50? The $50 I need is a deposit for the shoes. Annie, I was the one that told you it was a ridiculous idea in the first place. Now you want me to invest in it? Well, you said you approved. Look, Annie, look, I don't think you ought to be doing this. But I, I do believe that experience is the best teacher. Good. Then you'll lend me the $50. <laughs> Okay. Okay. But only so I can have the satisfaction of saying I told you so when you're stuck with a suitcase full of shoes. All right. But if I sell all my shoes, you're going to be hearing I told you so from me. <laughs> all right. All right. It's a deal. Thank you. And welcome to the smart and stunning shoe service family. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Caswell says if you can't get your own shoe in the door, you can't sell somebody else's shoe. So I'll go outside and pretend to be the salesman, and you pretend to be the housewife. But I really am a housewife. That makes it even better. Now, I'll go outside and knock on the door. <laughs> Who is it? Smart and stunning shoe service. Oh, not today. Thank you. <laughs> Jury, I'm acting like a typical housewife. Let's open the door. You're too friendly. <laughs> Who is practicing, me or you? <laughs> Never mind. Let's just skip to the part where I try and sell you the shoes. Okay. Good afternoon, madam. And let me show you what I have today. My, you have a very pretty foot. Oh, thank you. Leon thinks so, too. <laughs> well, I think we have some very exciting styles today. All right. Isn't this one cute? May I try it on, please? Oh, madam, this is a very hot selling number this season. Ow! Oh, I guess I have to practice that. Here, put up in here. It's fine. We just put this shoe on. There we go. Wait, wait a minute. We'll try the shoehorn from Norman's. <laughs> Perfect fit. Now, walk around. Come on. How does it feel? Tight. Oh, don't worry about that. Now, just sit down. That's just a sample. If you like the style, you can try another one for fit, and you can have your own shoes later this afternoon. Really? Oh, yes. Smart and Stunning has same-day delivery. Hmm. You know, I like these. Which one? Well, I like them both. Well, they're each from a different pair. I know, but they look great together. <laughs> oh. Now, all I have to do is find somebody else who thinks they look great together. <laughs> Good day, sir. I represent the smart and stunning shoe service. If I buy something of yours, will you buy something of mine? What? I'm a door-to-door -door salesman, too. I handle a little jiffy housewife helper. It peels, pears, slices, juices. And it's lightweight and it's compact. You can also use it as a flashlight. Now, this little item sells in all the stores for $2.25. But since you're in the business, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you have this little item for $1.85, and I want you to know I'm losing money. What do you say? Boy, I wish I had your technique. I told you not to come back until 6 o'clock. I'll break your little... Oh, hi. 
I thought you were one of my kids. Oh, no, ma'am. But I'd like to make you one of our family. I represent the Smart and Stunning Shoe Service. Would you like to see some of our samples? Sure would. Oh, good. Let's see, what have you got in a 2A, a 3X, a 4B, and a 5C? Oh, those are children's sizes. I only handle adults. Well, I only handle children, but not too well. <laughs> the way these kids keep me running around, I must wear out three pairs of shoes a month. Let me show you what I have. I got my last pair at the Army Surplus Store. They lasted throughout the entire Second World War, but my kids finished them off in a week. I'll show you my sturdiest pair, then. Make sure they're tough. My youngest likes to eat my shoes. Then how about a little something an alligator? Guaranteed to bite back. Oh, oh, oh. Little joke there. I'll say. <laughs> Hello, Anne. Don's upstairs with Mr. Hamlin. He should be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'll wait right here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, oh, nothing. It's just your shoes. What's the matter with them? Are they comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, they're all right, I guess. You know what you really need for the office? Something more substantial. You know, a practical little shoe. Now, here's a sensible little number, and we're featuring it this week at a low, low, get acquainted price. Huh. Shoes. Huh. You got a suitcase full of shoes. Yes, I'm a shoe salesman. Oh, I thought you were an actress. I am. And a shoe salesman, too? Well, it helps me cover more ground. <laughs> joke there. Now, what do you think of this? Isn't this perfect? Well, I really have all the shoes I need. I bet I could use some slippers. Do you sell men's slippers? Well, I'm sure we do. But why? Well, it's just a crazy idea, but... <laughs> I thought it would be sort of cute if I, if I buy a pair for Jerry. I mean, Mr. Bauman. I put them under his desk. It's just sort of a... A uh, gag. You mean sort of a, a hint? <laughs> Not that it would do any good. Nothing does. I'm around him every day from 9 to 5, and he still doesn't know I'm alive. I'm going to order the slippers and keep my fingers crossed, too. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I wanted to talk to you. Didn't you see the sign outside? What sign? No soliciting. It's posted all over the building. <laughs> You'll have your order in no time, miss. Smart and stunning features, prompt delivery. <laughs> This is a business office. What were you doing out there? Business. And it's going great, too. I sold two pair to Judy, and another pair to the woman down the hall, and another pair to another woman in my apartment building. Mm -hmm. You're doing pretty well, huh? And that's not all. I got a call this morning for an audition, and I was able to go right over, because now I'm my own boss. Did you get the part? No. But I sold the assistant director a pair of shoes. All right, now don't rub it in. Why not? At the rate I'm going, I'll be able to give you back your investment within a week. Annie, it is not time for the I told you so's yet. It almost is. Oh. oh, did you just come over here to gloat? I most certainly did not. I am here in an official capacity. Wait a minute, you don't mean you... I most certainly do. If anybody's gonna buy a pair of my shoes, it should be you. You're not only my boyfriend, you're my chief investor. Now look, Annie, I do not want to be seen in a pair of cheap shoes. You can't tell the difference between my shoes and a pair that costs $40. Yeah, but my feet can tell the difference. If your feet are so smart, why are they wearing those shabby old shoes? My shoes are not shabby. They're comfortable. And my shoes are not cheap. They're reasonable. All right, I'm perfectly happy with the pair of shoes I have on right now. You're only wearing those shoes to spite me. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. When I got up this morning, I said to myself, what can I do today to spite Anne? And then I said, I know. I'll wear shoes. <laughs> all right, all right, let me see them. I know you'll love these. They're exquisitely styled, don't you think? Here we go. Not a bad fit. Here, try this. Norman's Rena shoe? Well, Norman had a pretty good idea there, but I really don't think the public is ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Judy. I'm not speaking to you. Why, what's the matter? You know those shoes I ordered from you? Yes, didn't you get them? I wish I hadn't. What do you mean? Well, they look so nice, I decided to wear them shopping. 
I was on an escalator between the third and the fourth floor when all of a sudden I noticed something funny. I looked down and my shoes had fallen apart. <laughs> fallen apart? That's right. We were stuck for 20 minutes while the repairman dug the cardboard out of the escalator. The cardboard? Fortunately, they sold shoes on the fourth floor and I was able to buy another pair. Oh, Judy, I'm so sorry, but don't you worry, I'll take care of it. That pair was probably defective. That wasn't the only pair that was defective. You mean your other pair fell apart too? You think I'd be crazy enough to wear them after what happened? No. You know the lady who lives upstairs? Yeah, I sold her a pair too. You certainly did. She told me she was running for the Fifth Avenue bus when all of a sudden she noticed she was barefoot. <laughs> no. Well, don't worry, Judy. I'll give you both the refund. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Okay, that's three pairs of the boots and five pairs of the cleats. You'll get a real kick out of these. <laughs> little joke there. <laughs> sure, you'll get them tomorrow. You know how we operate. From our hand to your foot with no body in between. Get it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks for calling, Charlie. Good time. Hello, Mr. Caswell. Do you remember me? Oh, sure, you're Ann Mary. Oh, no, it's, um, oh, never mind. Listen, the most terrible thing has happened. All of my shoes are falling apart. Huh? Yeah, I sold five pair of shoes, and they all disintegrated. I don't understand. I, I only deal with the most reputable bankrupt companies. Well, maybe the companies are reputable, but their shoes sure aren't. Well, look, I'm an honest businessman. I'll, I'll be happy to refund your money. Oh, thanks, Mr. Caswell. I'd really appreciate that. Well, first, we've got to check your order and see if all the shoes came from the same place. You know, I get shoes from a lot of different places. Like the time I bought out the entire surplus of the Guatemalan Army. And then there was the 40 pairs of tap shoes I got from the disbanded group of precision dancers. And last month, the... Now, oh, here it is. They all uh, came from the same place, all right. Uh-huh. I think I see what happened. What? What happened? Uh, tell me. Did they, uh... Fall apart right away? No, no. They were worn a while and then they fell apart. That's what I thought. It was body heat. Body heat? Yeah, the shoes you got were made for people who don't have body heat. I don't understand. Look, they came from a funeral supply house. A funeral supply house? Yeah, they must make their shoes from cardboard. And they don't get too much wear and tear. <laughs> Well, I don't understand what that has to do with body heat. The body heat dissolves the glue that holds the shoes together. Oh, I see. You mean they're fine for lying down, but not too good for walking. You got the picture. <laughs> That's what happens to the shoes. I wonder what'll happen to the pants. I, oh, well, that's not your problem. Thanks. I have enough problems already. Hi, Margie. Oh, hi, Anne. Terrible. You know those slippers I was going to send you? Yeah. Well, if they're anything like the shoes I've been selling, you better forget them. You see, they're slightly defective. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, when you wear them, they fall apart. Oh, how awful. I'll say. The worst part about it is Don didn't want me to sell those shoes in the first place. Now I not only have to tell him the shoes are bad, I have to tell him he was right. Well, while you're at it, you might as well tell him you're sorry you ruined his career, too. What do you mean? Well, the shoes you sold him arrived this afternoon, and right after that, the boss asked him to cover this meeting of the Middle Eastern Alliance tonight. Don't tell me. I can guess. You mean he decided That's to... That's right. Just about now, your shoes should be walking right through the front door of the U.N. You mean the United Nations U.N.? I sure do. Oh, no, I can just see it. Don will go to shake hands with an ambassador and his shoes will fall off. <laughs> Boy, am I in trouble with him. Oh, I'm sorry, Ann. I didn't mean to upset you. I don't really think he'll lose his job. No, he'll just probably lose his mind. He'll kill me. <laughs> he didn't want those shoes in the first place. I talked him into them. Well, you certainly won't have to talk him out of them. 
Do you know where those other pair are now? Yes, yeah, I put them away. Do it. Yeah. I'll take these with me. Where are you going? I've got to get to Don's shoes before his body heat does. <laughs> Sir, and I hope you have a pleasant stay in New York. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Where is everybody? Boy, are you late, lady. They all left. Oh, well, where did they go? Nah, I'm just a janitor. They don't usually tell me. Would you have any idea who would know? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, seems I saw some sort of schedule around here. Oh. Ah, here it is. Oh, good. Let's see. Oh, terrific. They've gone to the hotel. Uh, can I keep this? No, take anything you want. Uh, what's that? A um, piece of cardboard. You want it? Cardboard what? Cardboard uh, box. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Just a minute, please. May I see your invitation? Oh, my. I must have let that come. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't let you in without an invitation. Oh, listen, all I want to do is run in there, drop this package off, and run right out. I'll bet you'll run right out. There's a lot of disgruntled people who wouldn't mind planting a bomb in that room upstairs. <laughs> but these are just shoes. You better talk to Mr. Flushing. Wait right here. Mr. Flushing, uh, I... Hey, come back here. No, what's all this about? Well, I have to get upstairs to that dinner to get my boyfriend his shoes. He's got... It's just too complicated to explain right now. Perhaps you'd better just step with me into the office. Oh, please, if you'll just call Mr. Don Hollinger out of the dinner. He's a reporter with Newsview magazine, and he'll be able to vouch for me. Joe, see if there's a Don Hollinger up there. All right, if you think you can handle her while I'm gone. Thank you very much, Mr. Flushing. I know that Mr. Hollinger will be able to take care of this whole thing. Well, I'm sure it's all probably quite innocent, but we must be careful. <laughs> we can't risk an international incident. It'll just be a local incident, and my boyfriend murders me. <laughs> I think I see what you mean. Oh, Donald, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, you should be. Do you realize how important this meeting is? Of course I do. That's why I came. Well, you shouldn't have. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, I thought I could get here before your shoes fell apart. Look, when they call me... <laughs> my shoes fell apart. Didn't your shoes fall apart? Well, of course not. What are you talking about? Then why aren't you wearing them? Well, because when you so rudely interrupted me, I was having dinner with the Amir of Meshabadia. Oh, no. He must have seen you without your shoes. And he saw everybody without their shoes. The cow is sacred in Meshabadia. It is against protocol to appear before the Amir wearing any sort of leather. So naturally, I took my shoes off. He didn't have to bother. Those shoes you could have worn. <laughs> Hi, Don. Here are your shoes. Thanks. Well, I hope I'm going to get my $50 back. Oh, yes. And Mr. Caso was very nice about it. In fact, he said if he didn't take back the shoes, he wouldn't have any soul. <laughs> That's a little joke. Yeah, very little. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait a minute, where are the other pair of shoes? I have to give them back to Mr. Caswell. Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find them. Well, do you think somebody stole them? Well, if they did, they deserve them. Well, I just hope whoever took them comes from a cold climate. <laughs>